<laughs> you know, that's because my society would confuse us sometimes. Because there was also a George in our group. And Gregory. That's right. His older brother didn't know my name for three months. Called yeah. me Ivan. <laughs> well, was it Ian? Ian. 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 Oh, Ian. Okay. Ian. Ian. Ivan. Even I don't remember. There you go. Maybe it's, I just start calling him that now. <laughs> that way, it's kind of built in. Yeah. So when then I met, I met Mario, uh -huh. and then but Mario had some you know uh, challenges in his life, being homeless, and he also had some issues with family. So he would be in and out. Okay. Um, and eventually, he brought us to Sunny. And while he brought us to Sonny, he kind of disappeared, you know, and we found out that he was having some issues and either he was in jail or his, um, his, he had family trouble. And, but he was also caught up in some substance ah. that sometimes that, um, at that time, and that sometimes that he would teach the other guys who didn't deserve to be teaching. They were like kicking garbage cans around. Oh, and we were like, oh man, look at these guys. So eventually when... You know, it was still all good with him and us. Uh -huh. But when he disappeared, he brought us to Sunny before he disappeared. And, you know, it was like this door opening, this dark room and smoke coming out <laughs> and his eye coming out. Oh, Mario, who are these guys? You know, <laughs> and, and I was just like, I thought we were going to a dojo. You know? <laughs> and then this is like projects across the street from oh, Alameda. The um, deep jungle yeah. of Alameda. <laughs> yeah, which is like uh, right across from the Alameda Naval Base, right? right? Before, before the, the before military. Before it looks so pretty now. Right. <laughs> so then that's when he brought us in and it was like, holy shit, there was like swords everywhere or at least, and that's how we got to meet Maestro Sonny, you know, through Mario. Damn. How old were you at that time? Uh, I was probably Relative. 19, 18. Okay. Maybe wow. maybe going to twenty. Greg so you're was probably seventeen. Point, you're at that age where you're kind of impressionable to whatever you're seeing. You're like, holy shit, this is gonna be badass. Yeah, and this is we're like I didn't even know if I made. Yeah, yeah and, and then like, I met Mario, yeah, and I went yeah. online. I was like, holy shit! There's all and this my stuff mind just blew up. And then I came to this guy's house. I was like, who is this dude? Right. right before I knew him as the maestro of you know that's traveling with Jesse Glover, that's traveling touring Europe. Right. He was just this humble, simple dude at home. That was just had this. He looked like a spider. By the way, you know? what's the name of the system? The system is called Visayan style, the corto cadena, larga mano, screamer. All right. Or in style, in <laughs> I short, like for, we, I like for a minute that he that. forgot. Like, I almost forgot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, you know, then we'll use Kali uh, and Kali. You know, we want to make it... You know, uh, that almost sounds like a Mexican name, right? Yeah. <laughs> because <of> Mario Gonzalez. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bato, <laughs> loco, corto, <laughs> cadena. No, I'm just kidding. I just didn't want to start, start saying the negative no, bad words. He did, he did, he did. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the name of the system. Yeah. And then, you know, Maestro Sunny just became uh, who he is. And then I just kind of... Uh, when Sunny never... When Mario, Mario never came back... <laughs> We came in on our own, you know, we were like, tut, tut, tut. we were scared, you know. He's like, where's Mario? And then we were like, uh, we don't know, we thought you knew. <laughs> he you got know? deported. We came to find out. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, actually, he ended up going back to the Philippines. When he got in trouble, he went back to the Philippines, you know, and then he was like, well, <coughs> come on in. And all of a sudden, out of the days off, his, out of all his days, his day off was like Sunday. And he was like, come on Sundays, you know. And then it was just me and Greg on Sundays, you know. Did he work? Or, uh, did he have a... His job was this, you know, where I, I didn't know, I didn't see him go to work. Or at least at that time and where I got to meet him, this was his work, you know, where yeah. he would have a small cohort of students yeah. and students that would fly from other parts of the world that wow. would just meet him. Because I've seen several videos of yeah. his living room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's his dojo, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and he would just be just there the making room. music, playing guitar, making beats. Carving, carving his uh, weapons huh. and training. Damn. That was that was his life. You know, he became a hermit. But that is so crazy because you know, I mean, like I said, he has that legend status of a mystical guy that nobody really knew, yeah. but they heard about him. Everyone yeah. heard he, of him. He, he was like that phantom fighter that you know. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, I, I used to hear stories. That I was like, it almost sounded like the boogeyman. You know, <laughs> it's like because you didn't know. <laughs> And, and uh, that kind of was him to us, too, kind of. Oh, really? Because, like, with a seminar, huh. he's like, I'm about to do a seminar. Why don't you guys do it? Uh, and I'm like, all right, we'll do it. You come in? He's like, I might come. <laughs> and then never. Even though he's... And then he'll be like, we'll do a seminar. I'm like, yeah, I was there for a little bit. I'm like, where the hell? Where the hell? Like, <laughs> he was, like, on... He, he was, was up like, on the top, like, just looking down, like, yeah. 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 Time to go. Good job. You know, well, so... But he was always... <laughs> You know, but that was just, that's crazy. that was just about, that was just his mystique. But he also, 
because he also got in some shit in his life as a youngster. Right, yeah, you yeah. Know? So that's why he was like, I, I, I choose not to be on Front Street, you know? And there's a few of us in our group that are like that, and that's all good, and I respect that, you know? Right. And I think I wear two hats because sometimes I choose to be on, I want to be on Front Street, but also I'm using the martial arts to build community. You know, yeah, like, I see that all and, the time. And, Every uh, time I see stuff you put up, yeah, 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 yeah and I then, see you reaching out. So I, like that. I know I'm. I know that there is the cap. There are also am um, also. There's the potential of me welcoming negativity. You know, welcoming people cause that that are like. You, you, know, you know what I've noticed in the last time that we were here, he is so much more comfortable with us. Last time he was just literally here. Oh yeah, he's got this whole thing going. Wait, because y'all lost my video. That's why. <laughs> So he's like, screw you guys. They're like, yeah, I don't care about these fools anymore. If they lose this one, that's just the universe now. <laughs> you know, we can't really deny it at that point. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. That, that was just like, you know what? I'm a big believer in things happen how they're supposed to happen. <laughs> For some reason, this was supposed to happen. I don't know why. <laughs> right, right. But here we are doing it again. Doing it again. Doing and it again. You know, very I, happy to do and, so. and I just want to say this because this young man who's 800 years old. Shout out to Yoda. I want everybody to know that. He is so generous because he, one, he really didn't have to do this for us. He didn't have to come back. He didn't have to do it the first time. Yeah. And, right, right. I got and I remember, the first one. And the last That's time, the true. first time when That's we true. asked him, he bashed the shit out of our show. I did, I did. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> no. I gave a constructive criticism. <laughs> oh, is that what we're calling it? That's what it is. <laughs> Because his ego was hurt, I didn't care. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> I, got, I got butt hurt. <laughs> no, no. And the reason why it's not to hurt nobody's ego is because you guys are providing a great product and service to the community. Thank you. And that's so why I say attention. that because I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? If you're gonna do it, and I know you're doing it out of your heart, guys. But if you, why not do it and bring value to others, right? And that way, then we're kind of <laughs> elevating everybody. And then, um, and then you guys, if you guys choose to then take it to the next level, even though it's from the heart, then you could be like, oh, we learned so much, you know? And I'm not saying that to be like, yo, I'm the best at this social media market. I, I suck. I just reached a thousand subscribers. Subscribe, by the way. Yeah, Thank you. I, I, Thank you was, for helping push. Yeah. Dude, and then, I but, had the countdown. But I've been watching, <laughs> like, I've been watching, like, um, uh, FMA content creators, you know? Yeah. And, and I feel well, like FMA discussions guys are right, really good. and they're amazing. great. And not you know, all shout of them out are to those guys. Yeah, you know, Filipino. Yeah, yeah, and that's great. So I feel like Kali conversation could could take up a space in the community that could can also <coughs> hold a space for a certain group of Filipino martial arts. Well, you know we, I mean? we want to do in, in reference because again, <coughs> this started off as something just for our students during COVID. Continue your training. Think about some of this stuff. Uh, another friend of ours saw it and said, "Hey, you got some good stuff here." Put it out to the people, and so we're like, okay. And then all of a sudden, we start <laughs> like getting dumbasses. Other people showing <laughs> up and be like, hey, we want to talk to you about your yeah. stuff because we we really we want to bridge that gap between oh, my kung fu is better than your kung fu. Yeah, and, yeah. and then you guys, and this is why I came to y'all. Yeah. two times, is because <laughs> because just why I thought in the shower, I was like, why am I going back to these fools? <laughs> oh, why are you thinking of us? And in the then shower? I was like, <laughs> because that's the best time I think about you, Naeem. <laughs> Especially when I'm like playing with my hair. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be... Sorry, you stay closer, closer. Um, <laughs> by the way, they're vaccinated. That's why I'm sitting this close to them, okay? Yes, we are. I'm my daughter. I've had my show. Okay. Um, What's your sorry. daughter's name? You want to put Ava. Shout Ava. Out to Ava. Ava. We He's okay. are vaccinated. He is safe. <laughs> Um, I can lick his I face if you want. Let's go for it. Um, no, we just had that awkward shower scene. <laughs> I did not. Just cut it. See how it builds? Cut it. See how it builds? <laughs> that's comedy right there. It builds, it builds. And oh, see, that's why we return back, not to bring it back. Is oh, the yeah. reason I think about them in the shower <laughs> is because, <laughs> you know, and I came back twice because uh, they, they bring value <laughs> uh -huh. and the fact that they have good hearts. You guys got good hearts. Thank and you. And it's light heart, you know, a lot of podcasts. But well, why like, you got to make I'm it tougher. weird? I'm <laughs> And that, that's I what appreciate makes... the weirdness. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? That's our niche. That's yeah. your niche. Yes. Not weird, but uh, unique. We are super awkward. Yeah, we the are. The uniqueness, yeah, are, you know? Are, like, what you guys are organizing, you guys bring in these different individuals. You're not bringing in the toughest, but you're bringing in, like, these individuals in the community that, that will actually bring value for other yeah. people oh, that yeah. watch we, this. We, we are very, you, you know... know we when we brought in um, Liana Louie, oh, yeah, we man. thought, dude, we need to get her in it because of the, the, what she's trying the to throw work. out to the co Right. You know, not just for the Chinese community, 
she's doing this for everybody. Yeah. And she'd be the first to tell you, no, I don't, I don't hold the door. You know, everybody can come through my door. United Peace. Yeah, that's, she really and that's, is. And uh, that's, again, that's why I yeah. came, is the content that you're creating is bringing value to folks. It's, it's, yeah. it's, we hope so, yeah. You know, just like I complain about <laughs> Hollywood not having right representation. Right. Because there's things like this that exist. Right. Right? Like yeah. you're bringing <clears throat> Louie, you're bringing in Diane. You know, you're bringing in these folks from the community that usually don't get spotlight. You yeah. know, well, me. Well, dude, we brought in I? we brought in a nutritionist, right? Some fitness people, mm -hmm. a bodybuilder, right. a chiropractor. I mean, That's dope. we're trying to get everybody over here. just because we know that without those people, a lot of this martial arts wouldn't exist. Nope. Thank you. You know, they, you. we couldn't because yeah. And you know, <clears throat> that's great to hear. Here we go because in the martial arts community. Sometimes we kind of forget the supporting cast. Oh, yeah. yeah. You oh, know? definitely. It's definitely. just like, oh, yeah, my system, me, my movement. Yeah. Uh, there was so oh, much yeah. more before <laughs> us. <laughs> right. Who there fixed was... your broken ass so <laughs> right. you're able to continue right. that system? <laughs> right. Like, right. Who gave you the I nutrition? I mean, the fact that you were yeah. vegan tells yeah. me you were really looking Dude, at your nutrition. Been for decades. Yeah. It's almost... <laughs> Two, I mean, yeah, let's two talk about your family business that, that is no longer in existence. Well, no, that business stay on existence because my, I'm in the business of keeping people healthy. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Right? Well, however... That's a hell of a slogan. We're going to put it down here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> however, what we go talking about is like, you know, my brother, like I, I became a vegetarian and vegan and then my, also my brother. And then you were doing brother. that before it became popular. Oh, yeah, before yeah. it was cool. Yeah, before, before, before it was a cool thing. It was cool, and and when vegetarian and vegan food tasted like fiberglass like and butt. wood, right? Um, <laughs> the cardboard. However, woo, that shit is the shit now, blood. Like you can't even tell no more. But going back, like my brother, you know, started we, we his need own. A, we need to we need to get him to eat it just to get the taste okay. test, and we won't do that on camera. Yeah. No. But he'll he'll come to the light when he's ready. We don't force anything on people. Thank you. People, I appreciate it. You know. Oh, um, if we don't force it on him, he ain't <laughs> never gonna walk near that room. There'll let be a time. The there'll be on. a time where he'll be in the shower playing with his hair, <laughs> and, and and he'll and he'll think about me and Nai and be like, you know what? Maybe <laughs> maybe I need to eat a little healthier for my kids, for my grandkids. Oh, my you know? hair will go back, is what you're saying? Yo, Hopefully, your, your other hair. <laughs> Okay, he's Asian, um, so he's right, right. Lot. Those are growing everywhere. Um, my ears, I had to, I had to do it for for Kali conversation. I was like, let me take my hair. Trim, trim, trim. Um, but yeah, my brother started a vegetarian um, high school project when he was in high school, and he <laughs> carried it on into when he became outside of high school, which is a Filipino vegetarian and vegan catering, right? So I helped him because I've been cooking wow. vegan um, at the time. Uh -huh. And then aside from that, aside from helping him in his business and helping push that because we were the only one in the nation, but now there's like a handful of folks. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, they're growing. So, Filipino vegan food. Yeah, yeah, and it's all good because we need it because out of the Pan-Asian community. Oxymoron. Yeah, out of the Pan-Asian community, Japanese, Chinese, Thailand, like Filipinos have the highest uh, cancer rate, heart disease, uh, obesity, right? And part really? of that is because hey, hey, hey. we've been colonized, so we've been eating American people's food, Spanish people's food, and we've kind of have lost touch with our some of our indigenous uh, food, right? And so aside, so that, you know, I'm kind of been tired of our elders being sick, you know, and so why not refine their physical, but also internally, right? Why are you so, looking at me like this? <laughs> You know, and then, but at the same time, keeping the traditional dishes, right? Like keeping the adobo flavor, the, the flavor. pancet. Where's and, the chicken? You know, and the texture, right? The so now we're just kind of replacing no. it. Yeah, you Why? should try it. So closed minds don't get fed, but that's okay because we've been dealing with that kind all right, of all right, we're attitude. Gonna go, we're going to go eat some. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, all hey, good. Let's just don't do it for me. He's American. You know, but <laughs> even Americans now. Right? No, oh, like, yeah, they jumped there's on the like, vegan wagon. If you yeah. look at the more educated Americans, right, they're eating plant-based foods. You know what I mean? Yeah, what is so, that Impossible Burger? Why? It's well, actually pretty good. You don't even have to. Like, those <laughs> are those are all for the transitioning people, right? right? Yeah. There's like the level five vegan Lisa Simpson, Prince, Michael Jackson vegans. Oh, yeah. Those cats, nothing they're that not casts even a shadow. eating. <laughs> yeah, they're nothing that kind of, that has a baby. Nothing that that look like well those are me but nothing that even could look like meat wow. right so there's people that exist <laughs> that world you know but again if you're looking at um health um if you're looking at environmental effects 
if you're looking at a physical effects, if you look at a horse, if you look at a, a, a rhinoceros, these are humongous animals who strong. eat or who are strong, who are eating plant-based diets. You know, and, and our internal system are more in align with uh, plant-based plant eaters rather than the lions. Lions <clears throat> have short, fat intestines. Our intestines are long and small, just like um, a it's horse like or a goat. feet or something? Yeah. yeah. So it's harder to extract toxins. It's harder to extract um, flesh. And then flesh kind of stays in there. That's why we kind of gain stuff. So what you want to do is you want to beat your alarm clock. You want to be able to get up and not have um, things that are ailing your body that are kind of coming from things that we eat. So I don't want to kind of go into that. That's not what I was here for. But, no, but I do want to say... Nutritionist said a lot of the same shit in great detail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm not a nutritionist, right? I'm a martial artist that uses... And I'm an educator, right? So I also work with young people and I teach them about cooking Filipino vegan food or non-Filipino so, vegan food. Wow. So, and, and the young people... He's are, going to invite you to his house now. Yeah. Not to be and in I the have, gym, but I have tons of, yeah. You guys could go to visit my other non-martial arts channel. I do a Filip uh, I do a vegetarian uh, vegan channel. Okay, and I cook yeah. with, with my with my young teenagers. And it. you know what? You know who's the hardest to convince? What? Teenagers. And I, when you got teenagers saying, "Jay, that's popping right there," then I don't give a fuck what my elders say n anymore. I don't give a fuck what the closed-minded right. uh, meat <laughs> advocate would say. You know well, you what I mean? Stop I like, I like, like me, my, my, I can't, I can't my ego is no longer hurt by those statements, by those people, because in the back of my mind, I know I'm like, bruh, you keep doing you. I'm securing right? the future. I am. I'm. I'm securing the future for the little ones. You feel me? For the little ones, for the little girls, bro. Yeah, that's I'm trying why I to make back, them, I I'm like, trying to make the babies. environment better for them. I'm trying to be a model so they don't have to consume anything that that cries. Right, that has pain. That then, then, then those things go inside the animal's body that we eat that go into our body that right. affects us. But again, I'm not here to you preach. Know, it's kind of odd how he was doing all that description. I was like, I'm a cannibal. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm here for like, the martial arts. I'm not gonna kill the baby, baby no, goats. Hey, um, <laughs> the fact that you said that you're here for the martial, we've never been a martial arts uh, show. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, that's pretty funny. much. Yeah, yeah, we always tell people we talk about. Just because we have the word that's Kali in there. That's what people do. Yeah. yeah. That's what but I'm that's dope. not what we talk about. That's we talk like about a, the that's people. That's what I like about your show. Yeah, if you ever it's listen like to it. It's like it goes everywhere, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> everywhere and nowhere at the same time. You notice there's no. <laughs> I like that too. There's no script I'll use the clips. Right? So I'm like, that yeah. clip will be from my yeah. vegetarian page. That clip will be from my vegan, <laughs> my martial arts All page. All from the same video. Yeah. yeah. But it's good because so, you guys are talking about. Listen, I, I have seen your art in play. We went to a seminar five or six years ago. Oh, yeah. And we were there for um, Rene Latosa. Shout out to Grandmaster Rene Latosa. Yeah, Latosa. And, um, but we had the pleasure of getting to watch you guys for 45 minutes, which we were wishing was much, much longer. Yeah, because, we thought it was too, too quick. We yeah, could have we, cut we out we the first mad. part and just had you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's We could have left Rene in Latosa. another room and, and just stayed with you. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Rene. Can you you tell the man? Rene, we're friends, right? <laughs> he said it. <laughs> Boxing ring right here, you and Puerto Rico. No, but no, I mean, I mean, I loved what he showed, but I was more interested in amazing, what you Amazing, amazing artist. Because we had heard about Sonny Umpad. I never really got to see him do anything because I never even met him. There's that mysticism yeah. of And him. then yeah. to see somebody, you and, and, and uh, Greg, 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 yeah. Greg, Greg, George, Greg, Bob, Bill, God, yeah, Bill, that guy, Joseph. Um, <laughs> go up and do stuff. And we're like, whoa, this, I love that. you know, this is some crazy stuff that we saw because I had never seen. Filipino martial arts look like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's a rare thing. And folks, just so you know, in a few minutes, we are going to get to that because if we don't, we're going to beat them down yeah, I don't if we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to beat them. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, first of all, shout out to uh, uh, Escabo Daan and Grandmaster Robert Castro. Robert Castro is one of my uh, elders and one of, uh, one of my role models, you know, similar to Sonny where a lot of grandmasters in the past are like, you know, our stuff is better than their stuff. Uh, Maestro Sunny, it was always be like, well, we have, if we could share it, and if it brings uh, value to others, then share it, right? You know, what we request back is, you know, some kind of credit or even just kind of shout out, right? Oh, but, you're getting a lot of shout out today. <laughs> yeah, uh, Grandmaster Robert Cash are similar, and we's like, 
he he let me in his space because he see all he saw my work as a as an educator, but also as a martial artist, and he knows I work with youth, mm -hmm. and and he was like, yo, come over here, and he seen my work, and we've done demos together, and he let me teach at his school, even though I'm a different system, you know, not right. a lot of not a lot of masters are like that, and I even was willing to, I was like, GM, you know, I'm down to learn from you, teach me the Skaba way, so I can, you know, rep, and he was right. like, Jay, I could, but it's like. Just teach your stuff. Your you, shit is dope. You know, well, teach you know, you always stuff. have an open invitation to come and play.